All right, guys, got something kind of different for you today. This is a three-quarter size classical guitar from Van Goa. Now, three-quarter size, what's, what's with that, right? Why would you want that? Well, a three-quarter size, obviously, is a guitar that's a little bit smaller than a full-size guitar, a little thinner, a little shorter. The distance between the frets is a little bit less because the scale length is shorter. So, of course, you're going to you know, use something like that anytime you want a guitar it's just physically smaller. So maybe you've got a young person who wants to start playing guitar and their hands are not quite as big as they could be. A three-quarter size guitar is a great way for them to start playing early on before a full-size guitar would really be comfortable for them. But there are actually a lot of other reasons why you might want a shorter scale guitar like this one. One thing is maybe you're actually recovering from an injury to your hands. The shorter scale length is going to give you less string tension, especially on a nylon string guitar like this, it's gonna have really, you know, really loose, kind of easy to play strings on this guitar. So it's not going to take a lot of strength out of your hands and it's gonna help you sort of rehab your playing as you get back on the road to playing a full size steel string acoustic guitar or an electric guitar. And of course, there's also the Paul Gilbert school of thought. He uses a short scale guitar just so he can get these insane fret stretches with his left hand. <laughs> Okay, so obviously we're not all Paul Gilbert, but there are still a lot of good reasons to consider a shorter scale acoustic guitar like this one. Now, let's go over the specs here. This is a you know very budget-friendly guitar. It goes for about $120. That includes a gig bag and some accessories, which I'll get to in a second. But you've got a pretty standard classical guitar design here. You've got a laminated spruce top. The back and sides and neck is all mahogany. 18 frets on this guitar. And one really, really nice feature is that not only does the guitar have built-in electronics, it's got a pickup in there which you can plug into an amplifier or a PA, but it even has a built-in tuner. Okay, so now the most important thing perhaps is that despite this being a smaller three-quarter size acoustic guitar, this actually still sounds really nice. It's got a real nice kind of kind of pop, kind of snap to it. So anyway. Uh, enough of me talking about the specs. Let's go ahead and plug this in and we'll listen to how it sounds. And I'll give you a mixture of the sound, the direct sound with it plugged in and also a condenser mic that I'm gonna use to capture the acoustic sound of the guitar. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, so that's how the guitar sounds, but let's talk about a few other things here. First of all, I've got a full-size classical guitar right here, so you can check these out and you can see, you know, about how much of a difference in the size there is of these guitars. It's really not that much. Of course, the scale length is a little bit different, so you can see this has the longer scale length on it. But overall, you know, the body is just, you know, a little bit thinner, a little bit smaller, and then the difference in that scale length. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the guitar also comes with a gig bag. It's got some nice backpack straps on the back here. It also includes some accessories. It's got a whole bunch of useful stuff here. You've got some extra nylon strings. Even comes with a capo, which is really cool. And you also have a uh, guitar strap. Of course, the guitar does have strap buttons on there for it. Comes with a cable for plugging the guitar in. And even a few guitar picks. And it all comes in this elegant velvet bag. Now one thing on the guitar that I do want to make sure you guys know about, the fret ends on this guitar are not as smooth as you might ideally want them to be. Now I'm, I'm not going to say that these are sharp fret ends, they're definitely, they're not going to cut you and it's perfectly comfortable to play the guitar, but you can just kind of, you know, rub your, your fingertips up and down the edge of the frets and you can tell that they are a little bit on the rough side. Now one actually really easy trick that I found to uh, deal with this kind of stuff is you want to remove the strings off the guitar, put maybe some tape over the body or you know anything that you want to make sure you protect, and then you just get a foam sanding pad. These are typically used for sanding furniture and they will sand it down but still conform to the shape of it. You just take one of those, just run it up and down the edges of the frets on the edge of the fretboard a few times. Now I know it might seem like, oh, you're gonna end up sanding the edge of the fretboard and you'll be able to see that. But actually, once you, you just do it a few times, and then once you just kind of run your hand up and down the fretboard, the, whatever sanding marks might have been there, if any, they'll go away as soon as you just spend a few minutes playing the guitar, and you'll, you'll never know that you did it. All that being said, if you don't want to go through that, it's not a problem. Like I said, these are not sharp frets that are going to cut you, but they're just not as, uh, as well-rounded as some more expensive guitars. All right guys, so that's the guitar. A great choice if you're looking for a short scale, three quarter size classical guitar. Now I'd love to hear what you guys think about shorter scale guitars. So if you have something you'd like to say, please share it in the comments section below. I'll put some links in the video description if you wanna check out where you can buy that guitar. And as always guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.